Hi guys, I'm Smith James. I hope you're all doing well. And today's video, we are going to review and discuss about the original Godzilla movie that ever came out in 1954. That's right, guys. That is Godzilla 1954, aka Godzilla. In it's a Japanese name. So let's get right into the video. So let's review about this film. So anyway, um how much so how so what do I think about this film? This film guys is the original Dazzle movie, like I said it it came out back in 1954 1954 one nine five four basically and it's very it's first castle movie and this film right here it's black and white let me show you the pictures at the back of this see Here's the, the, the back of the, the thing. Okay, my, my, my nail's not very good. Here's a picture of the main characters. There's um, Dr. Zozawa. And this guy, this guy here is the Amito. Who the, the um, like, um, she basically she's the daughter, basically the daughter of, of the doctor, basically. Not him. He is uh, her, um, basically, he is her fiance, basically. And then Godzilla, that the design of Godzilla in this film looks cool. And there's the other heroes in this film as well. And let me tell you about this film. Um, I love this film, guys. I watched this film, um, basically I watched the, uh, the American version, technically there were two versions of this, um, this one came out in 1954, and the, Amer the American version came out in 1955, and I was called Dazzle Looking Monsters, so I watched the American version first on TV, and on um guy that's what we got in england so so like it sort of um the program that program that, that, that we use to watch tv and that so basically i watched on there and it looks all right but it was most it multiple up but this version, in my opinion, it is is a superior version of this film, better than the American, because the American version is like all the it was edited with um, D. Martin, not D. Martin, the the actor, the character of D. Martin in this. The American version, um, but it it was on multiple um out of um order, but you know I'm but but you get the idea but but you get the idea okay you you, you know what I meant you know what I mean so but this one is is way better than that it the scenes were great um, this one is in Japanese so I actually put some um, subtitles there and and I read this the, the, the subtitles and and I get what they're on about so and once again is in black and white the film back back in 
in that time it's good because like like King Kong 1933 that film was um, good very good at that time as well because because back then they don't have CGI they don't have any of that so in this one in this dazzle film the, the old ones have the man in a suit and and the design of Godzilla I might show design here so I here's the design of 1954 Godzilla this is what it looks like because this design is really really really, really cool and like I love the dorsal fins, um dorsal is more aggressive more, more not aggressive like scary in it. Like the way he the way he portrayed the in the film like they um represent him as a um a threat as um a force of nature like he always is and they well years times on in Dazzle 2019 the Tina Monsters they use the exact same similar designs from the 1954 uh, Godzilla and they put put those cues designs design cues on the on the new Godzilla. So that's where you got them from, yeah? The roar in this the roar oh my god. It's sound scary, it sounds scary but I don't think that's scary but it does sound scary. It's like they use a different um Object to make the sound and uh, that looks really cool. Um, so now let me tell you what I like about the film. I love, I like the characters, especially uh, Dr. Silzawa. Not does not Dr. Silzawa in Dazzle 2014, um, Dazzle 2019, not that one, the original. This this guy right here, one with the the one eye patch like this. Technically, in this one, he's in this one, in this one, guys. He's a mad scientist, and the way I love him, he he's like um he knows what he's doing. Um, he's obsessed with his work, and also, like I said before. He's also the fiance of Amico, who is the daughter of the famous professor, basically. And and let me tell you what. And is there anything I don't like about this film? Hmm. Nah. There's nothing I like about this film. I love this film. This is one of my favorite Dazzle films. Oh, oh, wrong way. One of my favorite Dazzle films. One of my favorites. Because I love it. I love this film. Love it, love it, love it, love it. And I got this film. I got this well, one way again. Sorry about that. From um from H and V, the shop we got here. And I watched it on, on on my TV, and I and I and I, well, I watched it. When I watched the way through, I'm getting more excited. Every time I watched it, I'm getting I love it more. And I want and I saw the old Godzilla films before this one. I saw the other ones, like the originals and all that. And now, let me tell you. The story, the plot about this film. Um, basically, Godzilla. Well, they know they don't know who Godzilla is. Um, the, the the Japanese people don't know Japanese don't know who Godzilla is. Technically, the fishing um company 
were well the boats were destroyed and and they don't know who destroyed it. Deadly there were so deadly the fishermen saw an explosion and that said they got exploded. And then there was um the government trying to figure out what happened and let me think. Um, they just tried to figure out what happened to the fishermen, and then the other time the other boats got destroyed. There was this mad um, crowd of people wanting to know what happened to their family members, like their um, fathers or brothers or boyfriends, husbands or sons or stuff like that. So. We got to, we got there was a trip to an island where let me say this where the um the people who live there found the remaining um survivors from there and they found them and technically um they Try to try to tell what happened, and the old, one of them says uh, it came to life and what that, and one of them just like <laughs> slapped him in the face and shot at him. Then after that, they were straight to um, some of that. I think it's about the, the meeting and stuff like that. I don't know. Uh, they, I'm not going in, into my, to my details. So basically, um, the number. I'm not going too much. There was a scene where the natives knows. I believe the reporters just went to the island. One of them, I think, one of them went and went there, and they trying to figure out what happened as well. So basically, the elder um, person says it does not because the people who live there, guys, try to, to find some fish for food, but but they noted that all the all the fish have been gone, so they know it does not fault, right? They know it does not fault, and they. Came up, decided to do a sacrifice a girl to Godzilla basically. So let me verify this. The man, the elder man, the elder, the elderly man, told the reporter that Godzilla is a giant monster who's who's been worshipped. By people, and he's he's always angry all the time, and he goes on land. Like wherever he trying to find food in the ocean, he goes on land. Basically, he's a amphibian, like he was in the other Godzilla media. When about that? It's yeah. So he like that. So. I was about to say except the 954, 1998 one, but that's not the case. Um, so, they, in night time, they do this ceremony where, where they uh, put a girl on a, a draft, like a, a little um, wooden draft, along far out of sea to dance to Godzilla it's kind of like King Kong but like sacrifice a girl to a monster that like that but so this time she dances to Godzilla to soothe his anger you know what I mean like he's angry because he wants energy right he wants energy like radiation so 
After that, all the nature went back to, back to bed, went to bed and that. There was this storm going on. And technically, there was this mysterious um, uh, activity going on. So, there was like building shifting, um, all buildings destroyed. So this boy went out and he he wants to know what's going on. And then he saw Godzilla, but we don't see Godzilla in this part, it's off screen. So technically he was uh, rampaging destroyed things on the I think called the Udu Island, that was called, I think that's called. And he got the Doctor and there was this meeting going on, so they kept telling him, "Oh, um, the something happened. Um, the the monster it, it has come to life, and he won something." And so basically, the government doesn't don't believe them. So they send the professor and his daughter and her. And the uh, the reporters and that, and a scientist who can detect radiation. And here's the thing: the daughter, uh, Amito, her name is, who's in a um, a new relationship, but she's still engaged to him, to Doctor Zara, because she was going out with. Um, I think he's a navy um, captain, basically. And Doctor Zawa doesn't know about it, so he's so he so Doctor Zawa's there. So to farewell to them to set like farewell like like I'm not waving at you guys like he doing he doing that I think he's doing that and he said like did anything he's like he's like. He said, like, okay, bye, like that. Bridge. So, so basically, he didn't, um, technically, he wasn't happy. He kind of liked a jerk in this. Um, so they went to the island, figured out, and they found out the radiation there, and they found a trilobite was in a, a quotation, um, um, like animal that got covered with radiation on it, and they found like footprints of Godzilla. Figure out he's radioactive as well. So they um went, but they got interrupted by Godzilla. So they went. So the the man within the bell is, and says. It does it like does it like. So he, he went, they went toward the mountain, the hill, and there you saw Godzilla over his head was po poking at the over the hill and he looked at the human he's like Hi humans And the other one the other one away the, the other one away then the, the meteor was run away right trying to run away then they all came back Godzilla just went he like, you know what? You know what? Do you know what? I'll leave. So, so, so whatever humans, I'll, I'll leave you alone. So he, he just gone. And then there was a, a meeting going on with um the scientists and that came back from the island, and they talked about Godzilla. Told him that he was active, they show him some evidence of a and like that. Here's a here's a funny part. <laughs> here's a funny part. There was a, a an argument an argument going on between the two uh, reporters, the man and the woman. The man don't want um they're debating whether the whether the um 
the public like to know about this or not. So basically, guys, basically, he said, do you know what? We don't want the public to know about this, and and he's and the woman was like, do you know what? Oh, sorry about that. I need to um, unplug my uh, Chromebook. That's about good. Um, sorry about that, guys. And and the woman's like, no, 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 no. We want the public to to find out about this. And he goes, shut up. He went, shut up. And she went, he went, no, the public need to, don't need to know about this. And she went, shut up, you crackpot. <laughs> there was this argument going on. Oh, my. And uh, the scientists all them were like, uh, why are they fighting that? Okay, the, the fighting over something. So after that, there was a scene in the train. The couple was like, oh, the guys will come to Tokyo, you'll be the first one to be taken. That is, that, that is a bit funny. <laughs> that is a bit funny though. And then there was a scene, uh, the porter wanted to go uh, to Dr. Zawa. But he needs to uh, go to um, Dr. Yamanadidi, I don't know how to say his surname. He, after it, her, it, if she, if she, if he, if she can take him to Dr. Zawa for like an interview or something like that. And, in this scene, he kind of, Dr. Zawa kind of like a jerk to him. He said like, um, I don't, he, he says something like this, he says, I don't know a part of it, I don't want to share my information to other people or the public. I just want people I do want you to leave I do want you to, to leave me alone. That that's what he wants. And the poor's like he went, Are you sure? And he's like, Yeah, I'm sure And he's like Pfft. So he went he just went and she, she said he always Marty. Basically, he played Marty, and so he asked her if he can come to um um to his lab, and he would do a test. So basically, guys, he was um showing her the device the device he made, and that was the oxygen destroyer. This is where Arthur John comes from. If you're a big Godzilla fan, you know about this. If you're not, if you're not a Godzilla fan, let me tell you about this. Technically, the Arthur Destroyer is, is, is designed for absorbing the oxygen from the hose in the water. So, so when they're absorbing the water, they drop the device in the water. He absorbed the oxygen and he turned the host in, into thousands, basically. And so he tested out the um, device to some um, fish, but you don't see them turn into thousands. And then he told her, he said, he said, look, please, please, please don't tell anybody about this. And she's like, she's like, don't worry, I won't tell anybody. No. <laughs> so she went back and she found out that her, her father was upset because the government wanted to destroy Godzilla. They think he's dangerous, but he wants him alive. He wants to study him. So that's basically about, 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 about that. And then you heard this drum noise went boom 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 so that so that's Godzilla he just came but for that Godzilla came where the the cruise ship was and the, the lot of pe the people there were dancing he went da 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 like that 
the dancing and now because they don't have like songs they have music like classical music and that sounds amazing and so then two of them was, was looking out at the sea and there's Godzilla he just went up look at the humans he's like hi there humans then he just went he just went so then he Gazo just went up to Tokyo. Then he just wrecked, wrecked the shit out of well, sorry for swearing, out of Tokyo. He joy things and the science guy told him not to use lights. So so Gazo joy he joined the train. He destroyed the bridges and ever like that. He destroyed the buildings, all that stuff, and also the radio tower. And so there's one um, part that's that is like emotional in this. Like like there was a scene of a mother and a children, like four children, actually was told together like like, like that, so much like this, like, like that. And she said to them, she said, don't worry kids, we'll, end, we'll join your father very soon. And I was, and when I saw that scene, I was like, oh, don't say that. Oh, don't say that. So that is a bit sad. Then all the, the army tried to, tried to fight that sword, all, all that stuff didn't end well. So then, um, Gazzle just, just went. But he was got um, ambushed by the fighter jets, but they are they are no match for him. So he just went and boom. Then um, there was this uh, medical thing going on because the meter was there. Sorry about the the the, the camera was, was bouncing. Don't know why. He was like boom 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 like boom boom boom. You know what I mean? Like that. <laughs> Sorry about that. So basically um. God, basically the the nurses and the doctors were there trying to help. This one, oh my god, this one it made me sad. There was this little, there's, there's this little girl was sitting next to a mom who was like, I don't know how, I don't know how to say this. She was, she was like injured, like casualty. Then the nurse took her mom away and she started crying. I'm like, oh, I'm like, oh, I'm like, oh, that's just, oh, that's sad. Because that's not what that's not what every kid wants. See their parent or loved one got hurt. That's not what we that's not what we want, right? And that is sad. So a metro uh, was there. The sign, not sign. The, the captain was there. And then, then she got a really big mouth. She told, um, sorry about that. I always went, do, 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 do. So, sorry, but, so, sorry about that. <laughs> so she told him about Dr. 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 Sour and about the device and the, the, the oxygen destroyer and there's a flashback going on, and he went. Then you sh sh see that there. You show the fish go turn in into skeletons. Like, do it like. Oh, we're fishing, we're fishing. And he went. Like, that. like dead. <laughs> like dead. I'm like, whoa. I'm like, okay, that's not um, funny. That's sad. Um, So. Then they went up to him and Dr. Zawa came out of his lab and he was greeted by him and he went, Dr. Zawa, uh, we want to use your Arctic Destroyer. And he went, Arctic Destroyer? I don't know what you mean. I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. So he looked, at, he looked at her and he's like, seriously, you judge told him seriously you seriously you told my secret I told you to take my secret and she went to him like 
Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Um, please forgive me, and then she'll start crying. And then Dr. Rosal just went and enjoyed his, his research. And he just called and tried to stop him. And then he just accidentally hit him, the captain. And then he hit him, the captain, and he hit on his head. And then they all tried to talk because they wanted to use it against Godzilla. And then uh, there was this um, radio came on with the um, the school girls were singing, singing about something. They singing about um, the about the cause what happened, the rampage of Godzilla, and you just see that. You just see that that is um, sad because, like, I don't know why I don't know. Like, you just feel for them. You just feel like the like the sadness, and it was absolutely terrible for them. And then just as I was decided to use use it. So they went to find us the location on the a battleship, and Doctor Zao and the captain just went down in in scuba suits, and they went there found Godzilla and Doctor Zao. Um, this is the most saddest thing I ever seen in the Godzilla movie. That Doctor Zao actually dies in this. Um. He decided to sacrifice himself. So he asked the captain to go back. And also as I would cut the cut the line from the from the rest of the boat. And then he turned on the Austin Troyer and he just let it throw Godzilla. So the rest of them was up there and he told them that was out was standing behind and a meteor was crying and the doctor was crying because they treat him like family and and she said to him like Dr. Zara is more like a brother than a fiance and that is really sad like then you saw Godzilla like in pain, like he's agony, it's an agony. And he came out on came out out of the ocean and he's like, like that like, like he's in pain. Like then he went about down the bottom of, of, of this sea and he turned Delton along with uh, Dr. Zawa. And that's the story of Godzilla. So um sorry for taking too long. I mean I did all oh, about day three. Bloody hell. So sorry about that. Um, I know it, it, it is a long vlog, so sorry. Um so overall the film was really 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 amazing and it's I find it sad sadder than the twenty nineteen one. The way I'm telling this because they show that this film got emotion. They show emotions like very, 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 very well. And you just feel for the characters. You just feel for Godzilla. And and, and I love this film. It's one of my favorite films along with um, the 2019 version. And also, I know I'm not saying 98, but... I, I don't classify that as the other Dallas Little movie. One of my favorite monster movies. Um I love it. And I know I'm getting uh, emotional right now but I find that really sad. And and let me tell you, that film is a masterpiece in that time. And it still is. And guys if you haven't seen this film, I highly recommend you to watch this film. It is a classic, it is a masterpiece, and you'll love it. And and it's the 
one of the best Dazzler movies I ever watched and and I hope you watched it too and and please please send please leave me a leave me a comment down below to tell me what what your thoughts on this film that would be great and and yeah so that's so this is the end of the review if you enjoyed this video please be sure to subscribe to the channel leave a like down or smash that like button down below and and I'll see you guys next time they are awesome love you guys and goodbye